self-destruct sequence I initiated. I put the stream down instead of recording. <laughs> uh, welcome, viewers, to week 44 of Adventure for Beginners. And the cams are right this time. I think it's 44. Pretty sure. I checked. So, we had a little of a late start today. Um, but thank you for joining us. And we're just going to jump right into it, I think. So, Travis, take it away. Uh, yeah, okay. So, where last we left off, our uh, intrepid adventures uh, may or may not have learned the lesson of never split the party. Um, no. One, <laughs> one no, group not. had um, gone off to uh, kind of check out this lead they had gotten um, about a... A man that might know the whereabouts of some stolen property. Um, and shortly after that... My stolen property. Your this stolen property. This is not just, some, this not just any old stolen property here. This is important shit. <laughs> okay. As you say. And, um, yeah. And then shortly after, Nina got mad and left and went on her own. Which also proved to be a poor choice. <laughs> Shocker. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, I, I guess that's where we left off. Um, rest of the party, you guys are still in Riem. Um, Caben, you just got... You had been informed yesterday that Nina had left. And you guys had um, gone kind of throughout the city looking around for her. Uh, without much success, I might add. Spending a bit of money along the way. Yeah. Um, and, yeah. Uh, you guys wake up the next day. What do you do? Well, we're still alive, so that's good. You are still alive. Um, yeah, we just... Uh, well, the if plan... I remember correctly, we didn't we just kind of, like, not give up on finding Nina, but sort of kind of gave up on finding Nina? Well, the day ended... We, we, we had, had gone to, we had we'd gone to all the places and hadn't seen her, so... We seeded some information and some money to see if we would find anything out. But other like than 50 that, gold someone gave or something? Yeah, other than that, we just we came back to the inn and called it a night. So, mm -hmm. so yeah. I mean, we, Wait, we, who she gave, did I give out 50 gold? Yeah, you gave I, out 50 yeah. gold. You, you gave you out 30 kind of, gold total. You were just, like, throwing <laughs> your money... Oh, to the, yeah, it to the document to, to William Robert, <laughs> ah, Billy right. Bob. That's right, Billy Bob. Billy Bob. Uh, how much gold Who do I have? Knows things if you pay him. Holy shit, I'm poor. You are real poor. And now you're That's updated, food. by the way. Yeah, you've got. I got my bag back, right? Yes, and I will update those as we okay, go cool. along. Well, I mean, yeah. your bag was torched, but you got some of the contents. So I need to go buy a backpack. I, I'm going to go do that first thing in the morning. Okay, cool. Can we assume you just buy all the crap you had? Uh, you lost? What crap did I have that I lost? Uh, backpack, bedroll, flint and steel sack. Uh, water skin was probably in there. I don't know. Oh, yeah, okay, I buy, oh, I buy all those goods. Things. I buy all those goods, and I assume I also need... Do I need... Uh, no, I've got arrows and bolts still listed, and rope and torches on a bag attached to the horse. That's still the case. Yeah, sure. Why not? Cool. Good. Alright. Awesome. Yeah, so, like I said, you guys wake up the next day, um, Durian, you go to buy some stuff. Is there any other, I guess, shopping you'd like to do? Any other things you might want to buy? Well, I want to talk to the party about what we're going to do, but, uh, things I... I don't know what I would buy at this point, no. So Okay. I just buy those goods and I don't think we're leaving quite yet, so Probably not quite yet. No, the original plan was we were gonna hang around the city and see if we can dig up anything else about Venric. Okay, well, I mean he burned something down and ran away on a unicorn on the water, so <laughs> you know, I guess we'll uh I guess we can ask some questions and use the last of Durian's money. <laughs> <laughs> right, Durian? Did you did you just I saw your face. offer my money up? Yes. Fawn. 
Absolutely. I mean, you were just giving Maybe it out so willingly. Maybe you bribe before. the next public official, all right? And I'll take care of, <laughs> you know, the important shit. That's important. <laughs> no, I think I think Mr. we look Facebook around party. For word, hey, listen, we put in word to the gate guards. Maybe, maybe they've seen something. We'll check, like at the end of the day, maybe. I don't think we're ready to leave today, anyway. I'd like to maybe make some purchases and spend more money. <laughs> spend more money for myself. <laughs> for you schmucks. Schmuck? Who are you calling schmuck? Uh, Darian, you uh, want to turn yeah. down the reward money, like I said. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it was not a selfless maneuver. It was completely, <laughs> I completely bought more influence that way than I would have bought with an equivalent amount of gold. Well, that doesn't make much sense to me, but you're, yes, the, smart, it does. you're the smarter one. So. Yeah, you tending to, like, you know, diseased people who are losing their limbs doesn't make any sense to me, but you've done that. <laughs> well, I got something out of that, too. This potion that I've never used. <laughs> exactly. I don't even remember what you have. Uh, I have. They give me a potion of protection from arrows. Oh, there you go. And That's I have potion. not used it yet, so. No, you haven't. Had that for like it's 20 like, sessions. You, it's it's kind of like when you play a game and you just get these items and you just like end up collecting things because you forget you have them, so you just don't use them. And it's like, oh yeah, I got that Keep in our second session. Off. And I still have it. Dude, I am a huge hoarder in in RPGs. <laughs> oh, so. oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, I just yeah. hoard everything. I'm like, but I might need it later. <laughs> I can't use it now. Uh, true, okay. All right. Cool. So, so, so Dorian yeah, shopping. We, okay, we're shopping. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm gonna go and um, I think I'm gonna go exchange my gems for cash. That's Travis. probably the opposite of what you'd want to do. Yeah. Because gems. I'm gonna are go lighter. put all my cash into gems. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have that much cash. <laughs> the gem well, market is going up. I could double. I pretty much double my money with the gems that I have. But I guess I just yep. leave them. Yeah, Durian but... floods the market and yeah. screws up the entire economy. <laughs> think, of, think of it this way: gems are always traded at value. So as long as they're properly appraised, they're worth that much. So. Okay. And I'd have to go back to see what they're worth, but I think it'd be about two or three hundred gold, all of them together. Yeah, yeah. Uh, green ones are fifty gold each. Onyx are twenty-five gold each. Purple gems. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, really? Yeah, you're not Speed that. Four hundred and fifty gold each. So that's a lot of money in gems, actually. Okay. Yeah, you're not that poor. I like to look at my gems for a second. I look at Pawn. And I'm like, ha ha! I've got lots of money. <laughs> You thought you had me. You thought you had the upper hand. I'm gonna go buy a flute, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, okay. Do you want to invest, Kevin? Renew your subscription. Renew your subscription. Mm, I wasn't aware of During this subscription. Actually I thought it was a one-time, one-time investment. Well, nobody plans on having their bag stolen and then get melted by, you know. Durian, I take pity on you, and I will assist you in paying for your your. Come! Weapon. Have you not never been... I, I, like, like, uh, like put my arm, not, like, sexily, but, like, <laughs> guide her out, and I start okay. talking to her animatedly You're high about, on the shoulder blades, not right Yeah, about. like, like, <laughs> oh, yeah. I start, like, talking hurriedly Hover about hands. musical instruments and not, not, not famous, not famous crafters of flutes and stuff, and I'm gonna go buy a flute. Ah, yes. Oh, cool. yeah. Do you remember and what I'm on the lookout for a masterwork Ooh, flute. Oh, a hundred gold. Yeah. That's it. So, um, this is a big port city. There are a lot of trade goods. Um, not a whole lot of music shops, but you can definitely find one. Plus one magic flute? It is not a magic flute, <laughs> but you can find a uh, nice masterwork flute. Um, it's uh, sort of this nice um, worked uh, brass with uh, some, like, electrum around, Ooh. you know, a couple of the buttons or Try whatever. Anything? What yeah. about Whalebone to go along with his his sailor sword? Whalebone? Yeah, uh, bone flute. Can I find a masterwork yeah. bone flute? It'll break instantly, so... <laughs> sure. Why don't you give me a d20 and see if they have one of those available? Yeah, you can find one. Absolutely. <laughs> I don't buy one. I buy a brass one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'm like, why not? Like, really cool. Why not both? The backup flute. Okay, no last door. The buff. 
Uh, <laughs> 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 no way. <laughs> I have some gems I've discovered, but not that many. Um, so yeah, I, I just I I say um, I can offer. Uh, I have. I'll take this this fantastic piece of work. Can you tell me something about its origin? Where was it made? Where did you acquire it? This oh. is to the brass flute. Yeah, uh, the uh, shop owner, who's a uh, kind of a kindly old woman, says, "Oh, that used to be mine. I am far past playing age these days. Well, I can I can still uh, play a little tune, but uh, the old lungs they don't have quite the capacity they used to." <laughs> yes. So that'll be a uh, hundred and ten gold then. Well, now don't look, get me wrong. Look at the I do like I do electrum like electrum trim. It's it's really a bit of an heirloom. I look at it. Is it in good condition? I figure I know how to yes, evaluate. Yes, absolutely. Um, okay, well, I said, well, that's nice, and I'd rather choose a cho you know a proven instrument rather than uh, you know an untried one. But real quick, Travis, is she an elf? Um, uh, yes, actually, she is. So it's quite an old flute, because she's quite an yeah. old elf. <laughs> um, yeah, I, say, I mean, she's probably pushing 400 or so. Yeah, and I say, well, I'd, I'd love to take it, um, 110 gold. Normally, I'd, for a new one, I'd look to pay about 100, but it's, it's vintage. It's, well, it's oh, indisputable. Oh, don't them so. like this anymore, young man. Not in these days. The quality and care that went into this instrument. Oh, my, my dearly departed uncle made it for me. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, old woman's memories. But one must make a living. It would be sad to part with it. Well... Dorian, by the flute. Very good. You're, you're right, you're right. Uh, would you take... Would I be able to pay in gems most of my... Uh, Worth it, oh, isn't it? well, um, I would be happy to look and see what you have. I I pull look out one of the, the shiny green. things I have. I pull out one of the green ones. Uh, you only have one left. Oh, that's why he wait, says wait, I, I pull out I've, one of the green ones. Is there only one left? Oh, I must have spent them yep. elsewhere. Yep. Yep, one green. I, I so I put out the the green gem and ask her to appraise that. Uh, you see her get, like, a magnifying glass and then, like, another lens and look at it for quite a while. Um, and she says, yes, yes, I could could give you about 50 gold for this. Excellent. And so then I pull out the two onyx gems and then uh, ten... Er, I pull out a uh, hundred silver as well. For ten gold. Uh, yeah. She looks at all that and says, well, I suppose I can let it go to a good home. And she uh, she gets a little like felt-lined box and puts it in there and hands it to you. Be good to that flute, Sonny, and it will be good to you. Can I, I interest you in any other musical instruments? Perhaps something for you, young young woman. How you look it, like Tom? you have nimble fingers. A lute, perhaps. Yes. Um, <laughs> I'm probably not very good at uh, musical uh, instruments. I'll th I think I'll leave it to my friend. You're more of a backing vocals lady, I see. Not that either. <laughs> no. no. All right. All right. Uh, you, young man. Tell me, have you, uh... Oh, yes. Oh, I didn't know Caven was with us. Well, duh, yeah, Caven loves I, shopping. I tagged along. Okay. Actually, you and Caven have gone shopping the most in this game, I'm pretty sure. So. <laughs> Probably. So, yeah, <laughs> Caven's there. <laughs> I, I, I'd question that prior to Oren's death, because Oren used to go shopping quite a bit. <laughs> You yeah. guys used to go shopping all Orin's the time. Orin's like, I was just dude, like, I got I 20 gold. Anything. I can get a new weapon. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I, I want a site that is yet. rare. Tell me, good, rare. <laughs> good shopkeeper, have you ever oh, yes. heard tell of a, an enchanted magical instrument? Tales here and there. 
great oh. performing bards that have done good deeds. I have, I have. Are I've you done, I've to done entertain good or befuddle? She gives you a little wink. <laughs> well, they're just two sides of the same coin, are they not? Oh, it could certainly be looked at that way. <laughs> <laughs> Old ladies. If one were to go about searching for such equipment, where would uh, where would one go? Oh, towns or shops? Hmm. You may be better off speaking with someone of a magical inclination. I'm not certain such things would be common for sale. Usually, those who have them tend to hold on to them, and well, after they go, people might not know what they are. Everyone wants a magical battle axe. No one wants a magical guitar. Well, I do. Not <laughs> a guitar. A bird, I totally it's would. A, it's a low-class <laughs> instrument, if you ask me. But anyway. <laughs> uh, that's all I need. Kevin, do you need anything? No. Nope. Very good. Excellent. Well, Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Cool. I invested 25 gold in Durian's flute, by the way. Uh, I was going to say something to you as, after we left. Oh, okay. Cool. So you well, give him 25 gold? Thank you. Yeah. You're, you invested I am a generous in uh, God. a fifth of the winnings <laughs> for my performances. I guess I should... Where's my pencil? That's not how it worked before. You just paid us back. <laughs> that, well, until it's paid back. That's not investing. With interest. Okay. <laughs> How much interest? Is, 20? No, you, is this like a payday loan? Can I get like 110 back? Five percent. You can't get better than five percent on the market right Damn. now. <laughs> Over. Uh, Have you looked week. at many banks? <laughs> um. Fifth of winnings. Travis, can you? I was going to type this to you, but I'll just ask. Can you tell me how much all the backpacks and the necessaries cost? I'll have to add it up. I have no yeah, okay. idea. Not a lot, though, right? Yeah, I'll take like an arbitrary five gold off or some shit. Okay. I don't know. So I propose to the party after shopping that, uh, well, I, I guess we leave tomorrow. Um, maybe we'll hear from Nina. Uh, maybe we should go check out the, uh, our contacts. Lord knows I put enough money into that that dock master. We should go talk to him first and see if he's had word since yesterday. Mm, they they said they'd find us, but weren't we gonna ask around for Venric? Perhaps, do you think that we could or, go even what, to sorry, the post office? Name? Yes, that's true. Is there a post Altair. office? <laughs> Altair. Altair. Perhaps. Yeah, so, so, um, actually, Durian, when Fawn mentions the post office, you remember, uh, you had some letters from your dad, and, uh, you didn't actually have those in your bag when it got stolen. Yeah, I don't know what to make of it right now. I do have to okay. read the letters, though. Are they all burned yeah. to crisp? Or? I, a few are singed, um, but there are, you know, a few that would be readable. I mean, I assume you may have flipped them open just to Wait, see. Wait, he didn't have them in his bag when he found his bag? They were in there burned? He, you he don't know have, shit. Yeah, he no, I, Kevin doesn't know. I'm yeah. asking about you know what, nothing. what was just said. Yes, when, 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 when uh, Travis spoke about handing back my, the contents included were... Letters from my father. Okay. Yeah, and, and like I said, those weren't in the bag when it got stolen. So. Okay. Yep, yeah, you guys never really stop at a, uh, I don't know if it would be a post office, but like a, a message pickup type place. Post so. office. Uh. Yeah. They, okay. I guess they would post mail there. So. Perhaps we could Pony see Express. if uh, Nina had sent a letter. Maybe they'd recognize her name. That's an excellent idea. I don't think she would send a letter. And I have some yeah, inquiries yeah, maybe, as well. Maybe if she was going to find her family, maybe... Or maybe or maybe Amara's family. <laughs> so she's yeah. in the post office? Maybe. I don't know. I mean, I know she can't write or read, and neither can I, but uh, perhaps she had someone write it for her. Yep. Yeah. Perhaps. Perhaps. Let's go Let's check, check it, out. it out. Let's go check it out. Perhaps it's all around. Cool. Let's go. <laughs> cool. So you guys head off and uh, find the post office. 
And what do you do when you get there? Um, I suppose I would go in and see, like, is there just one person, or is there a bunch oh, of people are, that work there? Or? Yeah, there are a couple people behind desks, or behind, like, a counter. A um, few of them are helping people, uh, scribing messages. You see, like, a big cage full of ravens behind uh, pigeons. Uh, probably something, at, like, there are horses foxes. outside to carry. <laughs> yeah, foxes. Foxes, um, why not? <laughs> um, so I guess I would go up to whoever looks like they might potentially be in charge, and I would ask them who I would speak to about, uh, like, who handles most of the letters that, that go through, go go out through this post office. Uh, I'm the postmaster. I can help you, miss. Okay, well, um... Can I get your name, please? Yes, my name is, uh, Fonalyn. Excellent. Fonalyn, do we have some mail for you? Do you need to send something out? Um, I actually don't need to send anything out, but I'm checking to see if a friend of mine has sent anything out. Um, I'm not really sure where she would have sent it, but uh, I seem to have lost track of her, unfortunately. We got separated, and I'm trying to relocate her, and it's been a little bit difficult, so I'm trying to see if she sent out any mail. I see. Uh, what was this friend's name? Uh... Nina, how much of your name did I know? You would have heard me say my full name. At least your full name? Okay. My Ninalia name anyway. something. What was her? I don't remember your last Ember name. Emberflow. Emberflow. Ninalia Emberflow. Julian remembers. Uh, I, I piped I, up when she goes, Nina, I said Ninalia Emberflow. Uh, I haven't heard a letter like that uh, come through. Let me ask uh, some of my associates she would here. Have, she would have dictated it. Oh, yeah, she, I see. Uh, she what did she look like? Um, human? She's Bella. Short, Yay, hi. Yes. Human. Uh, yeah. so, oh my god, I'm So is she Nina taller or like. shorter than you? <laughs> Fun. Well, She's Allison probably right Allison personally is short, so... Um, <laughs> Might have been the same height. <laughs> right here. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, she's taller than Durian, so... Yeah, she is. Okay, <laughs> being a bit frank, how tall are you, Fawn? I, I am like, oh god, how tall is she? She's 5'3", five, five, Nina's 5'4". Five, 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 my height. <laughs> <laughs> my height. <laughs> oh, okay, um... I'm 5'3". Well, she's not taller than me. Oh, <laughs> yes, I am. Uh, Durian's 5'2", isn't he? Oh, he is 5'3". Oh, I'm okay. pretty sure Dorian and Caven are shorter than me, aren't they? I Caven's 5'5". Or no, five. that was Amrith. Never mind, I'm sorry. Yeah, Caven's a little bit tall. Anyway, yeah, you're Meep's all like five, little four. short people. She's right. about 5'4", so tall for slightly an hour, taller yeah. than me, you know, she, uh... It's, it's she medieval times, it's, it's fine. Yeah. Um, so a guy kind of looks Black over hair. and says, uh... Greener. Um... Muriel, did did anyone come in and uh, have dictate a letter to you? Uh, yeah, when Muriel. was this, Miss? Yesterday? Today? Um, probably would have been yesterday. Yesterday, uh, anywhere from between midday and evening time. She shakes her head and says, "No, sir. No one. No one with that description." I'm oh. sorry. I don't know what to tell you, Miss. Well, thank you. Anyways, I appreciate your assistance. Um. I guess, of uh, have a lovely day, then. Yes, uh, well, can I help I'll either of you? <laughs> I'll meet you guys outside. Okay, so I walk outside, and I'm all sad, because Nina's gone. Um, well, I'm not that sad, because I didn't really know Nina, but I'm still sad that we can't <laughs> find her, because they're friends with her. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm gone, I'm gone. You're with these guys. Jesterian, <laughs> Caden. I'm gone, I, I walked out. Okay, <laughs> there you go. Caden, leave. Yeah, Caden just stands leave. there. Uh, I lean over and say, um, <laughs> yes, sir. Need letters for the surname Burr. Uh, let you... me check. Would they have come in recently? I honestly couldn't say. Hmm. All right. Uh, let me look around a bit. And uh, he shuffles through there. Um, says, after about. Five or ten minutes, he comes back. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't have any by by that surname. Anything for Durian? Uh, one moment, and he kind of grumpily goes back to check again. <laughs> 
And uh, he comes back and says, no, I apologize, sir. N none by either name. Give him another name. <laughs> Thank you. Of course, sir. And uh, I assume you head out. Mm. Cool. No mail so from daddy. party is together. Same well, thing, uh, mostly. Let's, well, let's go. Um, I don't know. What do you think we should do, Caven? Uh. Well, we talked. We talked. We talked about a plan yesterday. We had a plan we, yesterday. We well, we said a bare bone sketching. If you want me to go asking about that name again, we're gonna go have to. You, you know, deal with Fawn some... is not going to do that. Fawn is not very good at that. Just saying. You were the one that wanted it. <laughs> no, rescue. what I'm saying is, if we go, we all go together. That sounds like a good idea because I don't want to be the one talking we'll because apparently be... I messed it up. If we do this, we'll have to be more upfront than just trying to slyly get information out of a bartender. I think we'll have to be. Hey, do all of you? Any of you? Do you, do you know Altair? <laughs> yeah. Not that's that's out of character. You're joking. But so okay. I. I should have said something that first. like that. Fawn makes makes a some sort of poorly timed joke, and I just. <laughs> anyway, I think we're due down for another trip to the docks. Let's go. I think in oh, the vicinity boy, of that. Uh, the docks warehouse. have never steered us wrong yet, except Durian. Except all the times they did. Except for all the time, yeah. Except for all. Except the for every time except Durian. Except that, for Orin's getting arrested. That ship is here, dying. Right? You know that, right? Yeah. What? The ship is still here. I think it's maybe gone. I'm hoping. You think it's maybe gone? That's a... Well, he kind of mentioned it that it was leaving soon. Oh, that's they true. It hasn't he did left say yet. That. It'll be leaving soon. Well, I would just say you are the one they the recognize probably more than Orin. Stay frosty. What does that mean? Oh, Orin's not here anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I just walk that? away. I start walking. <laughs> Cool. So you and then I like, I, like, I, stop and, like I turn and, like, around very quickly and like go to like punch Caven or a fake punch Caven and see if does he flinch. Yes. Caven, roll flinch. a reflex. Say, oh, he you flinch. flinch. Okay. <laughs> I say that's staying frosty. What? Be ready. Okay. Caven looks at him and punches. I point to the face. rod of ice again. <laughs> I duck. Roll I it. Not a, no, wait, wait, roll I would it. do. I would do the same thing Durian did. I guess not. If he stopped before hitting my face. I will okay. not hit his face. I flinch. I fl I do like a really gross. I'm like, oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> this would be some like three stooges. Shit. Oh, yeah. yeah, right. All right. Anyway, oh, so we just, go to the docks. I, I, just I lead us to the I'm docks. I'm just like Travis. rod of ice. I don't on, understand. You know? Yeah, you uh, you head to the docks. Where where do you go specifically? Uh, go to the the end where the where then the Rick slash Master could be found. Oh, okay, gotcha. We're going to the warehouse area. Yeah. Okay. The I so cool. Like that's kind of a. That's it's kind of like a bunch of warehouses. There's not a whole lot there. Do you mean kind of like go back to the bar you guys were at? Um, no. So what I wanted to do was go back to where dock workers would be loading and unloading goods into warehouses from ships. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you get to the, um, that area, uh, so that there's kind of the end, yeah, there's kind of the end where ships are still unloading, and then where you guys were was, um, like, really shallow, like the water had receded so you can't really bring a ship in anymore. So, yeah, you're at the end where the ships stop, but you're not quite to the warehouse where you fought uh, yet. So I wait out there for, uh, I look around for any... And I tell everybody else, I say, look around for a uh, dock worker. It seems to be grungy, tough looking, probably slouching about, maybe not working quite as hard, or perhaps might want to break for five minutes. Yeah, yeah. You see a, a guy like puffing on, I don't know, some sort of cigarette, cigar, something uh, that appears to be like not working. Right now, sure. I look at Fawn and Cave and I go. I follow the direction of his head nod to 
And I walk <laughs> over that way. Cool. You come up to him, kind of eyes you up and says, uh, can I help you? Yeah, bud. Uh, looking for information. Willing to, uh, and I look at Cave and so willing, willing to pay a bit of coin for it, too. <laughs> Uh, yeah, what, uh, what can I help you with? It's the name Venric ring a bell. It's just, he kind of really narrows his eyes it. and say, I've heard the name before. Ooh. Not someone I deal with. That's okay. Don't want to get you in any trouble. Okay, then give him five gold. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Kaven's like, uh, alright. Fawn is realizing he, that Kaven is a pushover he, and might have to use that to her advantage. Yeah, he takes the gold and kind of bites down on one, says, alright. Just uh, the Olympics. While and I say, there. I stop him, and I say, listen, bud, you might not want to uh, tell anything. Listen, I don't know your name, and I'm not going to remember what you look like after this, but I got some I like beef. That. We've got beef with Venric. Who can we talk to who can talk about where he... We might know more. Uh, buddy, I'm I'm not in those kind of circles. Uh, you know the name. You know where I could learn more. I'm sure. Yeah. Um. There's a bar uh, a couple blocks back. Um. And he he basically describes the the place you guys were at. Uh, before. <laughs> the place. Look, there what, are... what place were we at? The, the bar the, where we met the, people before. Yeah, the bar where you entranced to thiefy types and and Fawn went and talked to the bartender. Yeah, got it. <laughs> Two episodes ago. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I say yeah. All right. Are you Anywhere about else? The bartender there. Anywhere else? Uh, well, in the sense that like I may have showed my face there once and not didn't make a bad impression, but no, I'm looking no, for no, new no. information. I... I got you. I got you. Um, way on the other side of the docks, there's another um, similarly uh, place with similar clientele. Uh, it's called uh, Willie's Mackerel. W- and, Willie's uh, what? <laughs> Willie's <laughs> Mackerel. <laughs> Gee, Willie Willis. Better than the smoking stool. <laughs> <laughs> or Willie's Willie's. I asked the guy, I was like, is that really with an I, E, or a Y? Uh, I just know what the place is called. I can't read. It's spilled out of the penis. I'm, I'm just laughing, but I don't. Not at your expense. But, uh... <laughs> Free okay, Willie's Willie, Is there anybody... Is there anybody I should, uh... Free Willie's <laughs> Is there anybody I should, uh... Be talking to in there, or on the lookout for... If I spend a couple hours like, there. Like I said, uh, I tend to stay away from them types, sir. But All right, man. Well, appreciate your help. As you should. Yeah. You don't get mixed up with these guys. And Couldn't if anybody, agree more. If you're out and, out and about, people are asking, people who may be connected to this Venric, or whatever uh, the name he's he, going to go he, by. He kind of... Uh, uh, flips the gold between his fingers and says, I ain't seen no one. I think my smoke smoke breaks over. Uh, excuse me, sir. He kind of nods and walks away. Nice. Good thing he walked away. I was going to have another five gold. <laughs> yeah. No, it's actually too bad because I was just going to ask him to actually point us out because I want to kill that motherfucker. Wait, but you were going to what? It's okay. No one's seen us. Oh, you were going to... Oh, okay. okay. I was going to tell him to... Anyway. Yeah. Point them in our direction. But, hey... I, would I guess I guess overconfidence is good, and that did go well. Let's go check out this <laughs> Willie's, you know, dongle hopper or whatever it's called. <laughs> cool. So you guys start the uh, long trek to the other side of the docks. While that's going on, Nina, for the you've been time. sprinting for a while now. You kind of slide and duck behind a rock. Look around. You can't see or hear anything <laughs> other than the blood pounding through your ears. Your left leg has been badly mangled by a series of of magic missiles hitting it. Um, your entire body aches. What do you do? How far away from I... Die. How far away am I Just from Sam? A uh, few miles at least. Like it's, it's gonna take... It. Okay, cool. Yeah, so you just hoof it you as... You take permanent as... con damage <laughs> for yeah. running on an injured leg. 
Yeah, I mean, you hoof it like your leg really hurts, but uh, you're limping along at a pretty good pace. And um, after a while, you do make it back to Riem. Alright, so approaching front gate, Travis, mm-hmm. I immediately look for a guard and said, Help! Need help! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey there, miss! What? Whoa, stop, stop! Oh! What happened? What <sighs> Car- caravan, under attack. <sighs> uh, how far up the road? Guys, uh, get some guys together. I, I tell, basically give him the description of, and the guys, because I assume I at least had a... We didn't go over, but I assume I at least had the basic conversation with the guys I was protecting, Travis. Like, yeah, as, yeah, as you, you do with what... any business employment <laughs> venture. Yeah, you, you got their names, kind of what they looked like. So, give him details, and then I go... Magic user. Powerful. Flew in uh, air. And held fire. <laughs> Took uh, out caravan and single hit. Okay. Uh, alright. Okay, miss. Settle down. Settle down. Alright, we'll, <laughs> like, you we'll, we'll like get you some fast. help. We'll get you some help and then you can talk to the constable. Uh, come, come along. Um, you, hey. Run to uh, the nearest temple. Try to see if they have some healers available. He says, "All right, come come with me, Miss." And uh, he takes you to a like uh, I guess it would be the sheriff's office or the the uh, town town guard's office. As it's a walking, pretty big. Place. Yeah, um, I'd like to ask if you could deliver a message to friends I have in town. Uh, I can maybe get someone to run it there. Who are you looking for? Caven uh, and do I ever know Caven's last name? Because uh, I know Orwin heard it during the festival, but I didn't know if you actually ever told Neil. I'm telling a secret. You were there when I wrote it in the book. No, Orwin was there. When he wrote it, wrote no, it the Nina. No, Nina after was the there. Oh, after the dragon. Yeah, 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 yeah you I, know. His I name. say Caven. I give basically Caven's full name. Okay. And What's my last name, Josh? What's Caven's last name, Josh? Shanderlaw. <laughs> It's not under here. Caben Daryl. There it is. Can Caben even say that? Yes. <laughs> I have it written down. Did I Can pronounce you... it correctly? Actually, Can you, I, you know what? I don't even know. We, we talked about <laughs> how, how we pronounced it, but I don't even Just know. Just like what, when you're trying to figure out the pronunciation of Caben. You said Shalon Daryl? Shalon Daryl. Yeah. Shalon Daryl. It's Shalon Daryl from this time on. How about that? There we go. <laughs> then we'll forget it. <laughs> yep. like, we'll make up a new one in like three more. <laughs> there you go. Schlanderlol. So. Okay, cool. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Schlanderlol. <laughs> like cool, lesson. you you give him the name and he asks, uh, where can I find him? Uh, yeah, I actually do have the name of this in, Travis. But that guy's name, I can never pronounce it properly. Uh, it was it, Smoking Stool. the name of the end. Yeah, there you go. I know, Smoking Stool. There you go. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll uh, see if I can get a deputy to run over there a little later. All right, Thank so you. You, yeah, they bring you into the offices. So, can you give me an account? What exactly happened here? You said someone was flying in the air. <laughs> yes, and so, any uh, kind of types I know, the that... mate, sir. Sorry, magic user. Uh, I assume very powerful one to be able to do that. Huh. I mean, the okay. guy was throwing fireballs and shooting flashing things of light. Whew. Who do you piss off? <sighs> no idea. All I was was protecting the caravan. And I gave oh, him my Oh, oh boy, I wonder who that merchant pissed off. Did did anyone get away? How many people were with you? Uh, I gave him, like, the accountings of the people, and I... Yeah. Yeah, and so he runs. I, I explained the fireball pretty much took them all out in a single hit. And I was the only one that managed to get away. After minorly wounding the person responsible. Okay, cool. Yeah, so he kind of takes you through a series of questions. You know, what is your name? Where are you from? I assume you can't answer some of them, technically. <laughs> Where are you I, I from? from I Lucas, actually don't know. It's about the best I can do. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he doesn't, he, like, you're badly injured, right? So he doesn't seem all that suspicious of you. 
Um, they do get someone in there um, who kind of like looks you over and starts bandaging your wounds and um, and I just dropped that dice so um, they do heal one. you for four hit points. Yeah. You are feeling slightly better. What do you fucking slightly. do? Right you right, need a dragon to take you to that guy whose name I can't remember, but I can find. <laughs> we want one? Oh, the dwarf guy? Dwarf guy. Oh. Dwarf guy. Um, I will find a Travis. No, don't say it. Don't say it. Okay. <laughs> and, by the way, if, if he looks like he's just believing my story, I tell him I deal in the strange and that I'm one of the nice kind of. I'm assuming he's seen the freaking thing by now. Knights, what? I show him the order thing. Oh, alright, the platinous. Huh, alright. Well, I. Uh, Blackman, he was from Deep Haven. I, I wouldn't, uh. I wouldn't question an anointed knight. Um. Very well, we'll, uh. I'll, I've taken this all down, and, um. We'll definitely look into it. I've got some deputies uh, riding out there uh, along with a knight of our own, and hopefully he'll get to the bottom of things. I just sort of like, no, no, I say thank you. Uh, until <sighs> then, I'd like you to remain in the city for at least a day, just until we get every, you know, whatever remains and, and whatnot is uh, left of the convoy, or the, the cart, excuse me. But, um, you don't, <laughs> if you don't mind me saying, miss, you look like you could use some rest. Yes, I, I think I'm going to, once I find my friends hanging out at the, they, they know that I asked for someone to be get sent to the, the stool, the bar. Oh, yes, yes, I sent a, uh, yeah. a runner over there a while ago. Yeah, I tell, I'll just tell them I'll be, like, there. Okay, very well, um... By the way, and this, he kind of speaks a little lower after the uh, cleric leaves. He says, by the way, uh, you can probably get more help for a donation at the temple. If you so wish. I thought I'd nod and say, what kind of, how much of a donation am I looking for? To be I haven't needed that. Extremely well. <laughs> to look extremely well. Yeah, uh, you're gonna have to ask them. I'm sorry. Okay. Cool. So, what? Where do you head to, Nina? Oh, uh, is the temple on the way back to the port where the inn is? Uh, your inn's kind of more in the middle of the city, so I'd say yeah, temples are probably around there. All right, I head back first. I head for the temple first. Okay. Yeah, I mean you. You definitely get a lot of weird looks from strangers because you're you're just all fucked up, right? Like you've got burns running down your arm. You're limping. At this point, you're probably Honey, you're actually kind of walking <laughs> with your scythe just to like have something to lean on. Um, and you're yeah, you're a mess. There's like a hole, just a straight up hole in your armor where one of the missiles went through. So yeah, you uh, you eventually make it to a temple of uh, Corlan Lorethian. Mm -hmm. I give him all the formal greetings that I would hopefully got taught because I was tracking Amref down, but wasn't doing it unfair. Yeah, the elves so, aren't all that formal. A polite hello is usually good. Yeah, <laughs> and then I ask for like I'm seeking healing and I'm going to make a donation. Oh, oh, um, we can probably help you out with that. Uh, what can you afford to donate, my dear? Uh, Keep okay, in mind, so... this all goes to charitable works throughout the city, homes for orphans, uh, healing the sick. Okay, I quickly look at my character sheet, and... One second. And you give them right. all of your money! <laughs> okay... <laughs> Could have had it for free here Shit. if you hadn't run away. Did you actually <laughs> appraise the sapphires? Uh, I know what they're worth. I don't think you do. <laughs> oh, no, was the was it the rubies or the sapphires he couldn't appraise? Me? Um, 
Yeah, I mean, yeah. you're not with Durian, so... No, but he would have... I assume he told me at least how much they'll... Uh, generally. You gotta take those notes, man. Did you take the notes? Take well, I was notes. hoping that they would be next to the word Ruby in my character sheet. I guess I was wrong. <laughs> Where did you get them from? Uh, that was from Buddy Dragonfight. <laughs> yeah, you you know they're all around kind of 40 or 50 gold. I pour out a ruby. A ruby? Hey ruby. A and ruby. Was, how, how much is how much would that get me? And I sort of look the at guy the guy kind of I do have more. Holds it up, looks at it. Um, we can help you with a couple spells for this. Okay, well, I have more, so let's do this by gem, shall we? <laughs> He he kind of laughs and says, "My dear, how how much healing do you require?" Uh, I literally like look actually. At what they, uh, uh, like I'm that. sorry, that's a stupid question. Um, if you, <laughs> you have, look like you're uh, dying, should I heal you? Yeah, do you if you have another of these that may exhaust our spells for the day? I give them to Ruby. <laughs> okay, cool. Taking all the Just spells. kidding. <laughs> So, oh, don't know big giant scary wizards coming back, sir. No, no, no. You got some good uh, rolls. So you got, uh, let's see, 12, 24, uh, 20, 6, 28 health yield. So I'm on 41 now, if I remember what happened last time. Yeah, so I, you got 28. What, what did you get at the last place? Another uh, four, I think? Four. Or? Oh, yeah. 45. If, if I remember right, I was on 13 hit points. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've got it on another sheet. So, yeah, it's 28. So, 32 plus whatever you had there. Yeah, so you're doing a lot better. I bow and say thank you. And um, while I'm actually here, um, I ask um, Is it possible to have items sent? from here as it was an item that belonged to one of your own priests or priests I'm not sure I understand what do you mean well, a friend he saved me a long time ago was journeying with me until a couple of weeks ago when she unfortunately fell at the hands of a terrifying beast and I would like to get something of hers sent back to her home if it was possible I would look at someone who ships items. I, I'm sorry, we don't really... We're, we're a temple. Mm. I'm sorry, dear. Yeah, There's okay. a post office in town who can... They can send items if you wish. It may be expensive, depending on how quickly you want it there. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Nice. Do like a bow. And I head for the inn, Travis. Cool. So you head back to the inn. And why don't we take our first break there? Let's our see. first and only. Do it. First and only break yes. tonight, guys. Stick with us, and we'll find out what happens in a little bit. Thanks for watching. Nina doesn't.